Uh, the canal was built in about uh, in the 1860s. That uh, sort of took a number of years, and uh, it was actually intended to drain uh, the the wetlands and, and the swampland, the, um, the the Gowanus Meadows, that um, that encompassed about 200 acres. Um, but the watershed itself is about 1,700 acres, and it encompasses uh, the neighborhood of, of Park Slope all the way up to uh, Prospect Park, um, and uh, the neighborhoods that, that are now called Carroll Gardens and, and Borum Hill and, and Prospect Heights, and, and a large uh, a large area. And uh, it's served by by sewers, combined sewers. And what that means is that um, both sanitary and stormwater uh, during stormwater events, rain events, actually enter. Uh, enter the sewers and, and discharge into the canal when there's too much water entering the system and it can't be handled by the two um, wastewater treatment plants. And uh, that's, of course, a major concern when it comes to uh, uh, considering the, uh, the increase in frequency and intensity of, of storm events and, uh, and also, of course, uh, for sea level rise. It's um, the city's measures right now to, uh, to work to reduce the combined sewer overflow problem uh, upgrades are being made both to the uh, pumping station uh, and the uh, flushing tunnel. Uh, and these are upgrades on the order of $150 million or so um, that are intended to reduce uh, CSOs by about 30%, 34% uh, over the next few years. And these construction measures should be done in, in a couple of years. Uh, in the meanwhile, we have an aeration pipe here that you know, increases dissolved oxygen. Um, and uh, so that's one of the measures, and of course there's infrastructure being uh, implemented there and, and